Welcome to our next video. We're talking about statistics. We're talking about measures of central tendency. If you have a distribution, you need to talk about the central tendency. You have to talk about dispersion also, but let's first take a look at central tendency talking about arithmetic mean. There are two types of arithmetic mean, population mean and the sample mean. It just depends on how many values you observe. If you observe every possible value, then you take the population mean. If you just take a sample out of the population, it's the sample mean. So the difference is here, you take capital N, the number of people or the number of values included in the population, and here you just take the sample, the number of values involved in the sample, that's the difference between population mean and sample mean. So, taking a look at an example. x1 is this value. x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, x7, x8, x9, and x10, which means 10 values. You've got a sample of 10 values. And you need to calculate. If it's a sample, it's x bar. This value x bar. If it's the population mean, we call it mu, Greek value, Greek letter. So x bar, talking about x bar, we mean a sample. And this sample mean is calculated just taking the values 0 plus 2 plus 2 etc etc and dividing by the number of values included in the sample, which means all in all, it's a sum of 50 divided by 10, it gives us 5. So, calling or describing a measure of central tendency would give us 5, which means in the middle or something. We just want to describe the middle of this distribution. As we can show here, this is our distribution. The value 0 occurs once. Once one value out of 10 values, which means 0.1 is the relative frequency for, of this value 0. Just as 2 occurs in 20% of all values, which means 2 values out of 10 gives us 20%, which means here 0.2, and so on and so on. So I indicated the relative frequencies with those green lines. Meaning that we want to have a measure of central tendency and the sample mean is one measure of central tendency which means x bar is equal to 5 and now how can we interpret, how can we understand the sample mean? There are two um, points that need observation. First of all, the sample mean is um, a point, a point here in the middle we, 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 we could call it the middle um, because 5 is somewhere inside all those values. Somewhere inside all those values. And second, we could just subtract the sample mean from all possible values, which means 0 minus 5, 2 minus 5, 2 minus 5, etc., etc., and then we get xi minus x bar. So we subtract the sample mean from all the possible values. And now, what do, we, what do we get if we sum up all those values? The answer is clear, it's zero. It's always zero. If we subtract every, from every single value, if we subtract x bar, which means the arithmetic mean, from every single value, we get zero as a sum. And that's very important to keep in mind. Keep this in mind. That the sum is zero of all the values minus x bar. That's very important. And here, the, the arithmetic mean, the measure of central tendency, is the center of gravity. As we would say in physics, the center of gravity is 
the sample mean here in this distribution? Where do I need to put my finger underneath so that this will not turn to the left or will not turn to the right? The answer is X bar, the central tendency here, the center of gravity. That's the calculation of the arithmetic mean as well as the understanding, as well as the interpretation of X bar. Thank you.